Let's talk about an adjustment layer that will help you to color grade your image in Photoshop. You guys absolutely love every videos I do about color grading, so let's jump into Photoshop and I will explain you how to use these adjustment layers that I personally use in most of my photos. So I am in Photoshop and we're gonna want to go to adjustment and then choose our um, adjustment layer which will be color balance. If you don't have this window on the right here, go to window and then adjustments. Window, adjustment and you see it will appear either on the side or somewhere in your screen and then you're gonna find different uh, single adjustment. So you can see all of them here and the one we want to uh, work on today is color balance. So you just have to click on it and it's going to come uh, on your layers panel and here I only have uh, my photo here so it's going to come on top. So if you are interested here is my photo, I just did some adjustments in camera row. This is the equivalent of Lightroom if you are a Lightroom user and here are uh, the before so the raw image and here is the after some of the adjustments so you can see where I did the adjustment here so yeah this is not the topic today but I wanted to show you um, what I did in camera raw. so okay and now I'm gonna use color balance to uh, do some adjustment in the colors uh, some things that are a bit um, maybe more in depth inside of Photoshop. So first of all, uh, let me show you how uh, this adjustment works. So here color balance is open and you can see that there is an option here that is called tone and you have the mid tone, the shadows and the highlight. As you can imagine, that means that the colors are going to be targeting either the highlight, the mid-tones or the shadows, which is very uh, interesting because if we want to do something like split toning, so which means we have one uh, color in the shadows, another color in the highlight, then we can do that with color balance. So here I'm going to show you uh, quickly how it works and then we're gonna also use the mask so you can see that this tool can be very um, powerful and that's actually a tool that I use in most of my um, edits so yeah I really recommend using it let's see how it works so here I'm gonna go to the shadows and on this image here we can see that there is kind of a vignette here on the left and lower part so let's add um, some blue and you can see that it affects mostly this part here on the left and on the lower part which is normal because that's the shadows in the image so if I add some red you can see same it's showing in um, the shadows so here I'm gonna click on this little arrow to reset uh, the adjustment to defaults now let's go to mid-tone so by default it goes to mid-tone here this is the one I would not particularly recommend to use unless if you want to have a strong effect because mid-tones is going to affect most of your image so it's not going to target only the highlight or only uh, the shadows it's going to affect all the mid-tones and usually um, if you have a well-balanced photo it's going to affect the whole image so I'm going to show you see how it affects most of the image so if you want to give a strong filter it's a very good idea if you want something more subtle I would recommend to use either shadows or highlight. So here it actually looks quite nice, but it gives a filter effect. So I'm going to reset once again by clicking on this arrow here. And then I'm going to go in the highlight. And then here we have highlight, uh, of course, on the sky and on this uh, upper right part of the image. So I'm going to add some yellow and you can see that it's affecting um, the highlight you can see so I'm going to reset it so now let's say I want to create some split toning so I'm going to go to shadows add some blue and I would say that subtle effects are always nicer so I'm not going crazy like this but I'm going you know between um, 0 and 10 or minus um, 0 and minus 10 so before and after before and after I like the effect now I'm gonna go to highlight 
and because I added some blue in the shadows I'm going to uh, add the opposite color which is um, yellow orange so I'm adding some yellow and some red okay and you can see before and after it adds a nice contrast in color and I quite like it now let's say that I want to emphasize this kind of red here uh, on the bridge and on the bricks of the wall but I want to target only this red here so I can still use color balance so what I'm gonna do is to go back to adjustment and add another color balance layer so which means going to add one on top of the color balance uh, that I added initially so that's fine you can add as much as you want and now I want to target only uh, this area here. So what I can do is to use uh, the mask that we have here and create a selection. So here I'm going to use the pen tool because that would be uh, more precise and that's what I would like in a Photoshop uh, compared to Lightroom or Camaro. Um, now the selection are becoming a lot better than it was before on those uh, software but I still believe that in Photoshop you can have a um, very precise selection and that's what makes the difference in my opinion. So here I'm going to make a selection. So here I created my selection so you can see um, by clicking option uh, click on the mask that here is my selection so everything that is white is what is going to be affected and everything that is black won't be affected by the adjustments so here I still haven't done any adjustment so what I want is to give more uh, of a red tone to the bricks and on the bridge and on the wall so here I can go to shadows and add some red and you can see is going to immediately give more contrast, more color to the bricks. I might even go to mid-tones here, add some red, but yeah, very subtle, maybe some yellow. Yeah, that's really subtle, and you can see before and after, just with a subtle adjustment layer, with a mask, I can give more, um, you know, I can give more contrast to one part of the image. Here, uh, in my opinion, it's enhancing uh, this part of the image, which without the adjustment and the selection wouldn't really be um, highlighted. So here is before, here is after, and with both. So by the way, if you wanna see multiple layers together before and after, you uh, select the layers you want to see and then command comma and you can see before and after before and after just with two um, color balance adjustment layers so you can imagine that if you were to add more layers more uh, adjustment layers you could really highlight and combine different color together for example red and green works very well together so if we were to enhance um, the color of those tree and those uh, leaves here by adding uh, more uh, green that would be very beautiful with the red and even on the flowers here so yeah that that would be an option so that's how color balance uh, works I really recommend you to uh, try it out open your photo and try some adjustments without any mask and then make a selection and use the mask to target specific area on your photo if you don't know how to create a mask or what is a mask I will add on the screen one tutorial where you can learn um, about that first and if you are interested to learn more in-depth workflow check out my masterclass I will add the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this video. If it's the case, please push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to don't miss the next videos.